How's it going? My name is Steven Christian. I'm a comic book illustrator, animator, and augmented reality mobile developer. And in this course, I'll be teaching you how to make an augmented reality cloth face mask from start to finish. This course is meant for those that have experience with Unity and other creative tools as well as a knack for crafting. It's this lovely intersection of both of those. But the directions should be clear enough for anyone to follow. So you don't have to be an expert, you don't have to be a beginner, and you don't have to be an intermediate. Although, this is sort of the happy medium is for an intermediate a creator. This project is completely experimental, so there may be some snags along the way, but with a little trial and error, I truly believe that you can add a fun little project to your portfolio. As you follow along with the lesson, you'll learn a couple of things. You will learn a drafting process from designing a character, learn basics of Photoshop for designing characters, learn how to create a repeating pattern based on your character design, learn sublimation and design tips for face mouth coughs. You'll learn basic augmented reality image tracking. You'll learn basic coding for C Sharp with Unity. You'll learn to debug an augmented reality experience. And you'll also learn some basic animation in Unity with code and with a timeline. To get all this stuff started, you'll definitely need some tools. First and foremost, you'll need some photo editing software. In this course, we're using Photoshop, but you could use GIMP, you could use a variety of other softwares. We'll need sublimation paper. We'll need a sublimation printer. We'll need sublimation ink. You'll need some Teflon sheets or parchment paper. You'll need some thermal tape, a heat press, which I use a Cricut Easy Press for this one. Obviously, you'll need some sublimation cloth face mask or anything that's polyester, to be honest with you. You'll need Unity 3D, which is a free 3D animation, game development, and augmented reality software. You'll need a Vuforia license to do the augmented reality stuff. And you can find that at developers.vuforia.com. And you may need some 3D modeling software or some additional 3D assets to add to your experience. But that's about it. 